Thank you. Okay, Silas. Nope. You just couldn't wait, could you? Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. I'm Mike with Fowler Family Farm. Today is Wednesday. You should be able to watch this video today. I'm gonna try to upload it before five o'clock, uh, get this video shot real quick. I got a few things to talk about and then I'm just gonna show you guys around real, real quick. Um, let me show you a real quick clip I shot this morning when I was walking over to my mom's. So yesterday was 92 degrees, very hot. Today, 65 degrees. And we're about to get a massive storm come through. Y'all can't see any of it. I mean, it's, it's, that's all rain you see. The storm is behind it. I mean, the, the worst part of that storm. A lot of heavy winds, but we're about to get hit pretty hard. The ghosts need to stay in the uh, lean-to, but they don't know that yet. Yeah, so I'm running over to Mom's just to get drink a cup of coffee with her. So I'm sure I'm going to have to wait out the storm with her. Tanya's at work. Okay, so yes, we did get a storm come through. The severe part of that storm actually pushed south. It didn't look like it was at first, but it ended up pushing south, and sulfur got hit again. There was a possible tornado, the news said. I'm not sure if it actually formed a tornado. They said there was definitely some high winds. We were expecting the high winds here, but we just didn't get them. Like I said, it just kept pushing further south. And so where that main part of sulfur was hit, um, like a couple of weeks ago or three weeks ago, Don Jr. over here, that main area, it was about south, about two miles maybe, three miles, and then east a little bit as well. They said there was some circulation there, possible tornado. They didn't have any con confirmation on that. Um, but my next video, hopefully I, I've got that figured out and I can let y'all know. Actually, some of the other channels are down there, so they'll, they'll let you know as well. So let me turn you around and show you real quick. We didn't get, but maybe a tenth of an inch of rain. Um, I think they got a little bit more south of us. But that was dry, and so was that. So now it's got water in it. Uh, so this May has been a really good rain season for us. Uh, we've gotten quite a bit of rain, which we've needed it for sure. We've had two years of drought. Now the problem is typically when June hits, our rain starts slowing down and we don't get as much. And then July and August, we just definitely, we hardly get any rain at all, really. We get, every once in a while, we'll get a rainstorm. Yeah, I'm disappointed in myself with this, y'all. I need to get that done and I just have not done it yet. Look how the, the fence is leaning now. <laughs> but the chickens are staying in. I mean, it's doing its job and it's not even on. I mean, that fence is not even on. I've, I've turned it off because the grass is so high in it. And that's what I was going to do today. And hopefully I still get a chance to do that this evening. Um, but when I walked out and saw that there was a storm coming, I checked the news. It was within 10 minutes from me. So I was like, yeah, forget that. I'm out. My mom's back. She went to urgent care. Let's find out what my mom has. She had to go to urgent care. She didn't feel good. She was running a fever yesterday. I actually am just now getting over a cold, I think. I wasn't feeling good Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Tuesday, yesterday, I felt pretty good. Uh, so that's why I'm doing a video today instead of yesterday. And of course, we got a lot of water there like usual. All right, let's see what she says. COVID? No? Flu? Nope. <laughs> you got tested for both? Huh? Did you get tested for both? No, they didn't test me for the COVID, but they did flu. Yeah. But they said I just got a COVID. That's what I had. <laughs> yeah. Gave me an antibiotic and a nose spray. Yeah, and it's probably going to turn into upper respiratory and, yeah. You should have got a steroid. Did you not get a steroid? No? All right. Well, go lay down. Take a nap. I tried to drink coffee with you earlier, but you weren't there. Life 360 said you were there, and then I, when I got to your house, I looked at it again and said you're at urgent care. <laughs> Bye. No flu. That's the that's the good thing. It's just a cold, which is what I had. I think all of us have had it. I think me and my mom are the last two to get it. Uh, we're gonna walk down here, and I want to talk to y'all about a, a good friend of mine. Um, he was actually one of my first, probably first 200 subscribers. And he's probably been the person I've become closest to the most out of all my subscribers. I went and visited him probably, I've probably been to his place or to the hospital to see him or rehab to see him. Probably six or seven times, I think. And he lives in the Dallas area. 
I've mentioned him several times. I've even done videos over him. Um, I've done videos with him uh, in one of our visits. His name's TC Games 65. That was his YouTube name. His name was Tim. Uh, I never put his real name out there. He, he passed away May 6th or May 7th. I'd have to, have to look at my paper. Um, but I got a notification in the mail um, showing that he passed away. Um, I was one of the people that he wanted to notify. Uh, it's, it's real sad news. He was doing, his health was not doing good. And I met him back in 21, 2021, sometime around December, maybe January of 22. Um, but I got to know him really well. I would talk to him on the phone probably four, at least four times a week. We would text all the time. Uh, he was in the Navy. He was a military vet. Um, just a wealth of knowledge too. Tim was a great guy. He was uh, he had a lot of knowledge. He was willing to help. He was he was handicapped when I knew him because he didn't do a whole lot of walking. He had to stay in his wheelchair or a scooter. Uh, he was a real skinny guy, um, but he just his health just really got to him over the years. He was on dialysis, kind of like my dad. Uh, I talked to him a lot about my dad, about, because Tim was already on dialysis when my dad got put on dialysis. So he helped, helped me through it, talked me through what was gonna happen, things like that, real helpful. He just passed away of natural causes of, of his, you know, his own health situation. Ooh, it's getting windy here, y'all. I think this, I think this water is gonna dry up today. So I think I'm gonna be able to do that chicken pen over there later this evening. It is super, super windy. So TC, I know you're a follower in Christ, so I know where you're at. Uh, I thank you for your friendship. Uh, you're a great guy, and hopefully you're looking down on us right now, just uh, laughing and enjoying the different view of our video. I think the goats went out today. I guess we can let the goats out. I don't think it's gonna storm anymore. They said if it does storm later, it's gonna be like around five to six in the evening. Yeah, let's let the goats out. Golly, I hope y'all can hear this video. I've got my mic on, but it is super windy. Super. I think I got a goat stuck over there too. So let's let these goats out. Oh no, it's not. No, that goat's not stuck. Never mind. We'll let these goats out. I'll set the camera up real quick. Open the gate, let the goats out. A lot of y'all like to see that view where they're running out, running right through the camera. It's pretty cool. Sometimes I knock the camera over. Oh, I forgot. I don't know if I showed you this. We did get one row up of the hot wire, but I think we should have waited because I think we already need to mow again. <laughs> uh, when it rains, it grows. So that's the good thing about the rain, but then we have to mow when, when you use electric fence. I, I may just try to weed eat this, but that's a lot, golly. Well, hello, Yelena. You're right in the camera. Come here, Yelena, come on. Don't block the camera, they wanna see the goats. Oh, you want out too, Silas? Here they all come, y'all. Let me, let me get them all right here by the gate so it looks like a big herd coming through. Yelena, come over here, come here. Come here, you're gonna be right in the way, girl. Thank you. Okay, Sida. Nope. You just couldn't wait, could you? That's how they get out, y'all. It's because this fence is broke, so it leans this way and it makes it a little bit shorter, and then it makes it easy for them to get on it and just push it over. All right, you step back. All right, come on. Oh, they're gonna knock y'all over, look at them. Come on, goats. Let's go, goaty goats. Oh, oh, this is, this is Ginger's little baby. Look how good she looks, y'all, when she runs out. She is a good looking girl. Woo, look at her. Oh, you see the camera? <laughs> Oh, she looks awesome. So yeah, that was Ginger Snap's little girl. And she is looking so, so good. Well, she's gonna pee. Of course, right when I talk about a goat, they always sit and pee. She is big and looks good. 
Okay, I got two more in. They're gonna come out. That's coconuts babies. They're always the last ones out. One boy, one girl right there, y'all. Well, they're all stepping over my rope. So hopefully, <laughs> hopefully uh, they didn't damage my rope. I don't think so. Looks okay over here. Oh, there goes a rabbit. There are so many rabbits this year, y'all. I'm not sure this is true, but I think I heard that every seven years, there's an abundance of rabbits. I'm not sure why. Like it's every seventh year, there's like an, an influx of rabbits. It's like a super breeding season or something. I don't know. Maybe y'all know about it and y'all can tell me in the comments. Yeah, we're gonna have some happy goats now. Look at them. A lot of them are way over there on the other side of the pond already. They kind of split up today. Some went that way, half of them went on the other side of the pond. Maybe getting a drink. I don't know why they like to go way past our house. Yeah, they came back here. Well, my garden build got put on hold for the time being. With my dad's passing and we had a cruise and a few other things popped up. So that will, I will definitely get to that. That's gonna be done next set of days off for sure. And then I wanna get to the pool, cleaning it out probably to today as well. I can hook everything up and get it going at least. Get it start cleaning. All right, they're happy. There's half of them. Let's go see if we can find the other half real quick. Yeah, y'all eat all that right there you want. Just stay right there if you would. All right, y'all see way over there. All right, this doesn't look like the other half, but it really is. <laughs> There's a lot of goats over there. They're just hidden. A lot of them are down in a little small valley. Like, I don't know, you can probably see the top of that one black goat right there. There's a little dip in the ground there that they go into. Uh, this, it's super, super windy out here. And that's one of the reasons I got sick was all the wind and all the grass in the air. Now, granted, this water will definitely knock down the, the grass pores and all that for me. Uh, but then I'll have to mow and it'll get kicked right back up there. So I'm gonna go in, edit this video, and make sure y'all have it out for today so y'all can get to watch this video today. Uh, one last thing I wanted to mention is yesterday I did all my blood work. Um, I went to the doctor. Um, I didn't get an antibiotic, but I did get a steroid just to kind of help kick this real quick, which my last steroid was, if y'all remember, I had a bee sting last August or no, yeah, last August, that was my last steroid. I try not to take steroid shots or pills at all, but every once in a while I'll need one just to help kick something. Um, so all my blood work came back and I was a little high in a few things. Um, the doctor recommended a diet, which I've never had a diet in my life. Silas, Silas is right here under me. I've always been underweight and thin but over the last three years, well, basically since starting YouTube, I've fluctuated. I'm at my highest weight I've ever been. I'm 188 pounds, which probably doesn't seem heavy to a lot of y'all, but for my height, 5'10", my structure, my legs are skinny, but my upper body's getting big or getting bigger or fatter, whatever you want to call it. So they recommended a diet and a, an, a good exercise, which I do exercise some, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna start a good diet program and a good exercise program. I probably won't put a whole lot of that on my videos, but I wanna talk about it here and there. And if you guys are willing to do a diet and an exercise program, leave it down in the comments and, and y'all follow along with me. I'm gonna go on a three month strict diet and exercise program. Um, hopefully I update y'all probably once a week. I'm not gonna update you every video because of course the weight loss is gonna take a little while. Um, I'll just kinda of update you here and there what I'm doing and let you know how my progress goes. Then in three months, we're gonna retest my blood work again and see where my levels are. So I don't want my health to get out of control. I wanna make sure I keep my health in check, 
keep it good. I've had a lot of death around me here lately. Um, my brother, my dad, a good friend now. Within the last, I mean, my brother died in December. My dad died last month. Now Tim has three in the last, I don't know, six months now. So I'm gonna have to keep my health in check, uh, keep an eye on it. Hopefully you guys do the same, stay healthy. Make sure you go down there and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel and leave me a comment. We'll see y'all in the next video. Remember, Happy do the good. Feller, family farm. Come on.